Hello everyone and welcome to this week's video. Um, last week Damien and I headed over to Poland and we visited many different cities, saw many different things um, and I've just been taking like the video snippets of them all and we'll be doing a little voiceover on some of the video clips just because I didn't really explain it well in the video itself um, but yeah, without further ado, let's get into the video. Dzień dobry! Hey! My jesteśmy w Warszawa! Is that right? In Warszawie. Oh man! Our first stop in Poland was Warsaw and it was my first time visiting it so it was so fun discovering this new city. It was so charming and lovely strolling down the main street, admiring all the architecture. This was a monument called the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier dedicated to the unknown soldiers who have given their lives for Poland. We also stopped by Piana Wisnia, a lively bar specializing in cherry liquor, which was a specialty in Warsaw. And in the evening, we watched a fountain light show. We were lucky enough to have seats, but it gets very crowded, so be sure to go early if you want a good spot. The next day, we headed to the train station to catch our ride to Shanuf, a city near Krakow, for Damien's goddaughter's birthday. We are in Auschwitz today and we are just going to explore the, the little city for a little bit before we go to the museum which I'm very excited about and I've been wanting to go there for very very long He's excited, good work I am excited to go there but I'm sure it will be very depressing um, but yeah, that's what we have planned for us today and then after the museum we will head to Krakow where we will take our train to Gdańsk. Super cute place. In Poland, on special occasions, there are stores selling candy and toys outside churches as a treat for kids after service. It was Armed Forces Day in Poland and we caught this military parade while waiting for our bus to the Auschwitz Museum. And here we are starting our tour around the camp. It felt so crazy for me to be there, walking through this peaceful compound, knowing that so much suffering and emotions were felt on the exact same grounds and buildings that I was walking through. The hardest part for me was looking at the piles of tattered shoes, actually one of my prisoners there, piles of their hair that had been shaved off after they died, and their actual handwriting written on their suitcases that were taken from them. This was the actual death wall where thousands of people were shot to death. Then we went into one of the guest chambers where we could see the pipes installed to make prisoners believe they were getting showers as well as the holes where they dropped the poisonous gas through. Then we headed to Birkenau camp and here we got to see the living quarters of prisoners. Here you see their actual beds and 4 to 5 of them were cramped into this small area to sleep each night. Just before we move on, I wanted to share my thoughts on this whole experience. It felt so, so surreal for me to be there. I learned about this horrible place um, through my history classes in school as well as in many of the books that I've read. So it was totally crazy for me to actually be there. It's always been a dream of mine to visit this place um, and I'm so grateful that I 
got to have this opportunity to visit this place which had so much history. We did the 3.5 hour tour and I would definitely say that it was worth it because we learned so much about the camps. That said, I was a little bit disappointed with our guide and the tour just because I felt like it was lacking a little bit of emotion. Um, but in any case, I would say go for the tour anyways because um, you'll be missing out on so much information without it. And that's it, that's my little review of the guided tour at the museum. Um, and now let's move on to the rest of the video. We are having dinner! Hi! Dinner was so good guys, the mushroom sauce we're in Krakow, by the way. Yeah. Hi! Um, but we are now going to the train station to catch the train to Dines. It will be an overnight train, which will be very fun. <laughs> um, so, yeah, we're headed there now. See ya! Hi guys, we're by a beach club. There it is. And Paulina's here with us, but she's in the toilet now. Um, but yeah, we are right by the beach and it's beautiful! I'm gonna show you the sunset. Isn't that so pretty? At Gdynia, we visited a ship museum and again it felt so surreal for me to be there imagining what the ship had been like during its prime time and what its crew had endured and gone through on it. Jesteśmy z Gdańsk. Tak, jesteśmy w Gdańsku. Gdańsku. We are going to Mandu, a pierogi restaurant. Um, because I've been wanting to go there for a while. So, yeah, we are headed there now. I got it, my Mandu. And some other dumplings. Big dumplings. Big dumplings. Yeah. are going to an escape game now. Yeah, it's gonna be scary one. No, it's not. Hello! We just came out of the escape room and we did it! High five! Yay! We had 20 seconds to, no, 27 seconds to spare. Um, but yeah, it was a very good one. Rather well done, I think, for the price we paid, huh? Yeah. Yeah, um, like imagine what are those like three times more expensive. Yeah, 
and uh, and I screamed a lot. Are we surprised? No. <laughs> <laughs> but apparently it's not a scary one at all by the way not at all scary the guy even said like Damien asked for another room that was less scary and the guy was like oh none of our rooms are scary and Damien was like she screamed a lot which is true uh, now we're just gonna walk around Gdansk for a bit more before we head back I really said Poseidon Hi guys! Okay. We are in Beharovo. I don't think I've mentioned it yet, but it's very hot these days. So we got ourselves a little ice cream and a little drink. In the evening, we went and had dinner with Damien's friends and their cutie kids. And as usual, it was so nice seeing them and catching up. I really appreciate these moments with friends in Poland because it helps me imagine a potential life we could have living there. We are in the backyard and... Well, we are in one part of the backyard and look what there is! Oops. Look, it's a pear tree. Here there's an apple tree. And here, do you see? There are berries. We're gonna pick them up. these blueberries I picked up Ooh. we are at a cousin's birthday party 18th birthday party <laughs> us to the end of the video. Um, I know it was a bit of a different one but I really wanted to focus on spending time living in the moment um, so that's why some of the video clips seem a bit random um, but I hope you enjoyed it anyways and I will see you guys in next week's video. Bye!